Hi friends, welcome to my channel How to Funda and in this video I am going to discuss about agriculture model or organic farming uh, uh, for your school science exhibition. I am going to explain in detail about organic and agriculture perspective. So first of all, let's understand what is organic farming. The organic farming originates in 20th century but it is not new but it was doing from the ancient times. The scientific knowledge of ecology and some modern technologies with the traditional farming practices are combined in organic farming based on the nature's occurring biological process. What is organic farming and how to do it? Organic type Organic farming is a type of farming. It is basically uses fertilizers of organic origin such as bone meal, green manure and compost manure. Its implementation techniques such as crop rotation and companion planting. Your mixed cropping, biological pest control and fostering insect predators are used. Your naturally occurring substances are being used while prohibiting or strictly limiting synthetic substances. We don't use any chemical uh, uh, fertilizers or anything uh, which are uh, artificial. We do not uh, use anything uh, that kind of stuff when you are doing a farming in organic farming. We have a standard lines defined by United States of Agriculture as well uh, in terms of uh, organic farming where it clearly prohibits uh, genetically modified organisms, plant growth regulators, nanomaterials, hormones and antibiotic uses uh, when you are growing uh, a crop. So organic food and the organic uh, product has gained a momentum and has reached 63 billion worldwide by already by 2012. Types of uh, methods of organic farming. There are two types of organic uh, farming. Uh, pure organic farming. In pure organic farming, farmers use organic manures, biopesticides such as pyrethrin. Integrated organic farming apart from the regular organic farming will also look into the nutrition management and pest management in the organic farming. Then you should understand what is the purpose or what is the main objective in organic farming because why I am trying to explain you everything is when you are going and implementing a prototype or a concept or a working model for organic farming then you should completely note the understanding you sh should do the research on the topic on the organic farming otherwise uh, you cannot uh, uh, bring an innovative ideas when you are uh, bringing a working model so hence I am completely giving giving a overall background of organic farming before we take you to the uh, how we are going to make a organic farm model. So the main objective of organic farming is to conserve the nature. So basically you wanted to save the nature and its ecosystem balancing such as soil fertility, maintaining the natural resources so that avoiding the pollution and toxics in the environment and as you know uh, now it is very dangerous and uh, we are uh, spoiling our environment we are spoiling our ecosystems in terms of air pollution water pollution you name it you have land pollution deforestation is happening everywhere a lot of uh, trouble to the uh, mankind it is very go to adopt organic farming uh, that is going to benefit a uh, lot of uh, uh, benefits to you and to the mankind so let's go one by one to understand what are the benefits you might get out of this organic farming organic farming reduces the production cost since they do not use expensive fertilizers and pesticides uh, it is farming is little cheaper compared to uh, our chemical based farming the farmers use the traditional farm tools such to farming and minimize their reliance on the fossil fuels. Basically, the natural uh, tools uh, bullock cart they'll be using or bullocks will be used to sow the uh, earth and for uh, most of the things we'll be using uh, natural uh, stuff. Hence, uh, uh, you may not use our fossil fuels to run those. 
it is an integrated farming system that strives for stability sustainability and helps in the en enforcement enhancement of fertility of the soil and biological diversities autonomous independence self sufficiency openness food security health and food safety these are uh, some of the important benefits you, you get out of organic farming now you, you may have a question what are the disadvantages of organic uh, farming organic farming uh, disadvantages is the production costs are little higher because it involves lot of uh, man labor and lot of uh, the old technology or old techniques being used here lack of marketing and distribution channel at this moment currently not many takers are there for this organic farming and uh, the market is very small um, that is also one of the disadvantage uh, organic farming we cannot produce in uh, very bulk because we do not use chemical uh, fertilizers uh, all these things right and the growth are um, of the plants may not be um, exponential and so uh, the overall production is also lesser compared to our traditional uh, uh, chemical method how does organic farming helps the environment so organic farming reduces the non renewable energy for producing the agri chemical the uses of fossil fuels organic farming reduces the greenhouse effects and global warming due to the air pollution and climate change air and uh, pollution and uh, land cell pollution and if you go there you'll get to know complete details of uh, how to make this uh, agriculture model uh, for your science exhibitions so once the uh, agriculture model is ready or uh, farming model is ready then you should get ready what are the different types of questions you may be asked uh, uh, in the uh, organic farming demo so then let's understand what kind of questions you may get out uh, in the science exhibition when you're trying to demo this model what is meant by organic farming the crop and livestock production that produce provide or attend attentive care that promotes health and meets the behavioral needs of livestock what are the different types of organic farming the pure and integrated uh, are the two different types of organic farming what are the benefits of organic farming it reduces soil erosion it reduces pollution it conserves water it increases the soil fertility and it uses less energy these are the some of the benefits of organic farming what are the good things about organic farming various benefits of environment including reduce pesticides and chemicals build healthy soil reduce erosion global warming and water conservations these are the some of the good things uh, on from the uh, organic uh, farming side why should we do organic farming in this farming method we grow nurturing crops without the use of synthetic based fertilizers and pesticides so now you are able to answer all the questions uh, for your model now we should conclude because that is the last uh, section in science exhibitions where you should be able to conclude to your audience about your model so organic farms helps us to lead a health and better lifestyle due to the consumption of organically grown food products which are free from harmful chemicals and fertilizers the whole life cycle of organic farming can be explained using this organic model i hope you like this uh, topic on um, organic model and the way we presented uh, the overall uh, uh, this working model if you like this video do click on the like button and if you would like to get similar kind of videos then do subscribe to my channel and click on bell notification so that you will be getting my videos as and when i upload the videos if you would like to share and if you would like to help your friends or help other colleagues then do share this video so that everybody in this world also will get benefit out of this video thanks for watching this video bye for now until our next video take care for now